In this lesson, I will explain to you a tree tree string one character at a time. Now, what is the meaning of this tree tree string, right? You know that we have discussed very well a string. A string is a sequence of characters. See here, I have assigned Python. This is the variable and variable is initialized by a string. And a string always you have to write down in a single quotation or a double quotation. So this is a string. Right, and then is one character at a time. See, it has six characters. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you want to iterate each and every character, one character at a time, then you have to use for in a statement. So how to write down for in a statement? See, first of all, you have to assign a val a string to a variable. And then for in. So see, this is the keyword for, and then this is the keyword in. Between for and in, you have to write down an arbitrary variable. Arbitrary variable, here you can write down any, any word, but it should be valid. What is the meaning of valid? It should be related to the variable which we have assigned in the beginning. So see in Python, these are called individually, these are characters, right? So that is why I have used the arbitrary variable character, the word character here. So this is called the for in statement. For in, between the for and in, you have to write down an arbitrary variable and at the end you have to write down the same variable which you have initialized in the beginning that is word and then colon after colon print by default it will go to the four indentation and then print this arbitrary variable you do not have to write down this variable name this and then see when we will execute or run this code you will see one character at a time, P-Y-T-H-O-N. This is called iteration. Right, so see, this is our topic. Iterate a string, this is the string, one character at a time, this is one character at a time. How you can iterate by using the foreign statement. So Python provides powerful sequence iteration features below for letter in word loops through each letter in a word. So see, as I have told you, this, this is the arbitrary variable. You can write down any name, any variable here, but it should be valid, right? So here, instead of character, same example, but instead of character, only to show you, I have written a word letter, for letter, where you have to write down the arbitrary variable between the words for and in. For in between, you have to write down arbitrary variable and then at the end, same variable word and print letter. So see, same Python, same you will see the answer. Here I will show you if you want to write down A, B, C instead of letter, right? A, B, C, any variable. So again, you will see the same output. So between for and in, you have to write down the arbitrary variable, but it should be valid. Valid means it should be related to the variable, whatever you have initial, initialized in the beginning. Here I have made another example for you. So student underscore name is equal to Saika. So see, notice in Saika, this I is capital. Now we will deal this I. So new name is equal to only quotation. When it will fix, when this coding will fix this I, the new name will appear here with the whatever we will show here. So see for a letter in student underscore name, this is the for in a statement. For in between you have to write down any arbitrary variable which I have used here letter in student name same variable if letter dot upper see letter dot upper equal to uppercase and this is the uppercase 
so the new name the new variable should be equal to letter dot lower means make it if it is capital make it lower if it is in the upper case make it lower else new name is equal to letter just print letter so how you will print it student name which is saika to new name when it will fix so see when i am going to run this code saika to saika this is the new name because it is it is upper case i and then i said new name is equal to letter dot lower make it lower so what happen if i will remove this positive sign because each and everything should be clear right when you have to make the coding each and every point should be clear so if i will remove this only positive sign so see when i will run you will see the difference i q a this positive sign adds the, this s and a as well if you will remove this positive sign only it will print when it will fix this i when it will make it to lower case i q a it will print only this part if you want a complete name then you have to put a positive sign here right same example i have written one more time with but with the lower case i and here i said that new name again in the quotation for letter n student underscore name this is the foreign statement if letter dot lower if it is lower so i said make it upper only to show you that you can change this upper and lower it is not a hard and fast rule that always you have to write down upper here no you can write down lower here or upper here i said if it is lower which is lower make it upper right and then see saika to saika this is the new name how you want to see how you want to see your output print student name which is saika to new name and new name is saika so in this lesson you have learned iterate a string this is the string one character at a time by using for in a statement and keep in mind that in for in a statement always you have to write down arbitrary variable between for and in between these two words if still any point is not clear you can ask me subscribe to my channel and thanks for